I'm Keith Wolf Smarch, and I'm the lead carver for the Carcross Tigers First Nation. Well, the history of our carving, we're made up of two, two groups, two tribes, the, the coastal Clinket and the inland uh, Tagish. In order to establish the trading, we, we intermarried. And when the Clinket moved in from the coast, they brought the art with them. So now that we're intermarried, we call ourselves inland Clinket. And so now we, uh, we, we, we have the art. The history pole at the Carcross Commons, it is kind of like a contemporary uh, modern version of uh, our trading history and, our, uh, and some of our stories. So if you look at the pole, starting at the bottom, we have a coastal man. And he, he represents the coastal clinket that came in to trade with us. And right on top of the clinket man, there's a, a taggish woman holding a box of trade goods. And the woman and the man represent the intermarriage of our two tribes. And then we get into a story about Skookum Jim, a little bit of our history. And uh, one of our stories is that a frog actually helped Skookum Jim um, in the gold fields to help the gold. This is what we believe. So if you look at the, the pole, the frog is coming up and the, the killer whale is coming back down. And the killer whale represents Skookum Jim. And one of the stories, he came back to help the frog. And then um, standing on top of the killer whale, we have a thunderbird. And the thunderbird represents the coming of the White Pass train. Because if you look on the train now, uh, on the front of the engine, there's a thunderbird on there. And then on top of the thunderbird, we have a, a copper shield. And the copper shield represents spiritual wealth for, for the future. Totem pole raising is, is a huge ceremony. And uh, tradition, uh, as tradition goes, that uh, once we're done carving the pole, the carvers don't help anymore. So it was the people that came, and it was actually like 80 men came and carried the pole into its place. And then uh, when we raise it, the carvers, my son and I, and my grandson helped also, we did a carver's dance. And the carver's dance signifies that uh, we're handing the responsibility of the pole over to people now, and we're finished. And so, so it's a big day.